Do you ever feel like you can't figure out what women really want? Well, today, we're gonna fix that. What's going on, guys? My name is Dave, and I make new videos every single week to help you get the girls you want and the lifestyle you dream about. Now, most guys really have no idea what it is that women really want. Some guys think you have to be the nice guy and please her and do all these nice things for her and that's gonna get her, doesn't usually work. Some guys think you need to get her number and then wait like two weeks before you text her, that doesn't usually work. So what do women secretly want? Like, well, like, like what is it, right? Well, I spent years trying to figure this out for myself and today I'm gonna share what women secretly actually want. So let's get into it. Now yes, women do want you to approach them. Now a lot of guys sort of trick themselves into thinking that women don't want them to go up and start a conversation. Like you might be walking by a girl in the street and maybe you make eye contact for a second but then she looks right down at her phone. Or maybe you see some girls out at the bar, you know, they're hanging out, they're dancing with each other but they're not really looking around. Maybe they don't seem super approachable. Here's the thing, that's not because they don't want you to go up and talk to them. It's more because the world is a different place now. Like a lot of people are glued to their phones all the time and this breeds social anxiety. Like the idea of having a conversation with someone new is scary for a lot of people, including those beautiful women. But it doesn't mean that they won't enjoy it if you do go up and initiate. And the beautiful thing is most guys are way too afraid to go out and approach women and especially beautiful women. Right, so if you're the type of guy who most of the time when you see a beautiful girl, you go up and you, you at least say something, you try to get the conversation going, then you're gonna give yourself 10x or maybe even 100x more opportunities to meet great girls than the average guy will. Not only that, you're also going to make these girls days because most guys aren't going up and doing this. So you're, you separate yourself from the pack. Then you also give yourself the chance that she is gonna like you. Right, and then from there you can get her number, you can take her out, you can keep things going. See, if you're not getting out there and approaching girls consistently, then you should be going out, you should be doing that as much as possible right now. Even if you're just going out asking for directions, you know, even just going out and making eye contact. Just get in the habit of starting conversations, starting up interactions, you're gonna be a lot better off, the girls are gonna dig it. So having a self-care routine is essential. Not only is it going to make you healthier and happier, but it's also going to cultivate self-love, and that self-love is going to make you happier, it's going to make you more magnetic, and make women want to be around you. Now when I talk about self-care, there are four things every guy should be doing. You should be brushing your teeth every day, morning, night, maybe even in the afternoon. You should be flossing every single day. You should be meditating every single day. And maybe the biggest self-care routine is taking care of your skin, making sure that you're treating and preventing breakouts, making sure that you're protecting your skin from the sun, all that good stuff. And as most of you guys know, I've had trouble with my skin my entire life. You know, I've really had to put a lot of effort in and that's why I'm happy for the sponsor of today's video, T. Shanley. I've been using T. Shanley over the past year, year and a half, and I gotta say, I'm super excited about it. It's really helped to you know, dramatically make my skin a lot more clear, a lot more hydrated, with a lot less embarrassing blemishes. It's really limited the amount of breakouts that I do get, and when a random pimple does pop up, I know it's only gonna last like a day or two, and then T. Shanley is gonna zap it gone. And what I love about the T. Skincare routine is that it's super simple. They tell you exactly what products to use, how much to use of each one, and when to use them. See, I was in the dark about skincare before I started using Tej, but now I know exactly what I need to be doing, and it's helped me to keep it up consistently. Now, what I recommend for most guys is their level one skincare system. Now, this is gonna include a morning and nighttime moisturizer, which is gonna keep your skin nice and hydrated so you don't get those embarrassing dry patches. It's also going to include a twice a week exfoliating scrub, so you get that dead skin off your face, you're looking fresh. Right, and then it's also going to include a daily face wash so you can use that in the morning, use it at night to make sure you're wiping off all that grime, all that bacteria that's gonna cause breakouts in the first place and keep you looking fresh. That way you can hop out there walking on the street with some confidence, you can go on those dates with that renewed confidence as well. And girls might not tell you this, but they are definitely 
You're gonna love that and you're gonna see better results. And the best part is Tish Hanley cuts out that greedy middleman and sells directly to you, the consumer, which allows them to offer their awesome products at a super low price. And because Tish Hanley is sponsoring today's video, they're actually going to be giving you a free gift with your first order. So all you're gonna do is click that first link in the description, grab your first box of teach, and you'll get that free gift. These ladies are waiting on you, so grab that first box of teach, and make it happen. Now this might be the biggest thing women want but never say. They want you to make it easy for them. What does that mean? Basically, they want you to lead them through the initial interaction. They want you to lead them through the dates, and they want you to lead them through the relationship so that way they can sit back relax and know that they have a strong a strong masculine guy to sort of like show them the way so in an initial interaction this might mean you know making them laugh you know showing them a good time even like let's say you meet them like on the dance floor you take him to the bar then you take him to the outdoor area you're leading them around you're ha there you're having a good time then you're asking they want to you know get out of there at the end of the night and go hang out with you on a date it means leading them through good conversation topics that are going to get them excited that are going to get them feeling sexual feeling fun that are going to keep them engaged right and then at the end of that date saying hey listen you want to get out of here and then boom making it easy for them to come back to your place or go to their place and take it to the next step and in a relationship it means making them feel secure making them feel good about being with you making them feel like they know what path you guys are both on together and they see that you're confident in that path and they can kind of relax and say all right you know dave's got the reins he's making it happen i can work on myself too and we're gonna be good together and me and how to beast we joke about this with our students it's like man if you can just go there if you can just ask a few of the right questions you can get her on a date in the first place and then you can ask her home and then when she comes home with you you can go for the hookup and instead of just sitting on the couch awkwardly for an hour just doing these few things alone is going to you know lead to a lot more success and almost like like what you do in between doesn't matter as much as like making those like leading movements in those moments if there's one big trait that separates attractive men from most other men right most average guys out there it's decisiveness like attractive men can go out there they can make decisions and hey decisions are not easy to make a lot oftentimes decisions can lead to life changes they can lead to other big things and most guys will overthink themselves you know in a loop for days or months or years and it's not a good thing but attractive women know that they can lean on attractive men to make those hard decisions in those hard moments and lead them for example you know, where are we going to go out to eat tonight, right? The attractive man can go through and make that decision. Is it time to make a move? Like the regular guy might overthink that for three hours and then the girl just leaves. The decisive man is going to say, you know what? You know what? I, I do want to kiss this girl. I do want to take her home. I do want to close the deal with her. Let's go. Even something as little as, uh, you know, scrolling through Netflix and deciding on, you know, when you're with your girl, deciding on what show you're going to watch. Decisiveness is hard because it's so easy to waffle in that sort of gray area of indecision for as long as you can. And it's even easier to choose the easy choice that is going to leave you in your comfort zone rather than the more difficult choice that is going to suck for a while, but it's going to force you to grow. Like, for example, me deciding to move to Austin, Texas, right? Like, there's been a lot of challenges with this it hasn't always been easy and it's it's still a challenge but it's something i'm forcing myself to grow with but as you become more decisive you decide hey i'm i'm not going to be an overthinker anymore i'm going to decide figure out all right what's the right move here and once i have the information let's go for it like let's move in success or failure i'm going to learn from this i'm going to move on i'm going to get better right and women love that type of decisive guy Women want you to make it fun. They want you to show them a good time, keep them engaged, right? Communicate with them the right way. They want you to be the guy who can get shit done, but also be easygoing. It's almost like you t you don't take yourself too seriously, but you take your mission in life very seriously. So she knows, hey, this guy's gonna make it happen, but he's also gonna be able to show me a good time when I want that too. Now, in order to make it fun, you really have to learn how to not take yourself too seriously, how to how to not get offended 
over every little thing or even not get offended at all how to not get affected by any girl's you know potential like negative reaction to you because you know hey you know what maybe she's just having a bad day maybe i screwed up something in the interaction that's okay I'm gonna get better, I'll go talk to more girls and it's all good. Girls don't want you to come up with some really boring conversation on a date or in, especially in like the nightclub environment. They want you to have that fun, right? They want you to tease them, joke around with them and all that good stuff, right? And, and if you want some help on how to tease girls, how to make them laugh, you can check out this video right here. And also, if you wanna check out Tease Hamley's level one package, you can hit the first link in the description to grab your first box now. I'll talk to you in the next video.